you are looking for a country where you can actually study for almost free then this video is a video you need to watch this video is going to be a little longer because there are a lot of things i want to explain here especially to those of us who are watching me for the first time my name is milton there is no need for long talks let's go straight to the video today's video i want to talk about the cheapest country you can move to right now as i'm talking to you in europe but remember you need money in your bank account this money that you need in your bank account it doesn't really matter where the money came from but they want to make sure that this account you are using is an old account it's not an account that you just created recently all right so austria want to make sure that that is what is happening now i'm going to take you across all the entire process and i will also encourage you to watch other videos so you understand me the reason i'm filming this video is because i have other people from facebook and other platforms this is free for you now if you don't understand anything please book an appointment i can only call you when an appointment is booked i am very straightforward and i will be straightforward in this video as much as possible okay so don't go anywhere now let's talk about the process like i said austria is the cheapest country to immigrate to in europe now in the european union or the schengen zone the reason is because it looks like i have a lot of heat let me bring my ac down the reason is because most universities in austria are going to charge you just around 363 euros per semester or even 720 you can study bachelor's programs in english or let's say if you want to study in austria and you are thinking that oh well, how am i going to get a program in english language it's possible in austria then it's also possible to study masters in austria in english language i hope you understand i'm looking at my jota here so i don't forget anything i will take you across the process let me just give you a general rundown now for you to apply for universities in austria like the university of innsbruck the university of vienna the university of salzburg the university of klangegfurt all those universities in austria you need to go to a website this is the website and um, we'll make sure that i put it in the video description box so you can actually verify all the details from there the website is called student wall it all slash en the student wall is spelled s-t-u-d-i-e-n-w-a-h-l dot a t slash e n i'm going to put a link in the video description box so you follow from there when you go to that website you have the possibility of uh, selecting the course you want or like just gradually navigating to get programs taught in english at bachelor's level and programs taught in english at master's degree level so this is how it is okay now before you even apply to these universities there are some things that you need to know in austria if you want to migrate to austria you are not going to rent a studio if you want to migrate with your family you are going to rent an apartment in austria there is nothing like face me i face you sleep behind me i sleep behind you in front no if you have kids you have to get an apartment i hope you understand so because i know this is common with us our culture of course is not the same as their culture so you need a flat you need accommodation proof for visa application and that is a flat you need your admissions letter all right when you get admissions to a university you you need a health insurance for austria i'm going to put some links in the video description box make sure you watch the video to the end so you don't come asking questions on the comment section that i mentioned in the video then you need your tuition fee receipt that's the deposit in case your tuition is 363 and the school says pay before you apply for visa you pay then you need the receipt with you during the visa application then remember you are applying for a visa now the visa is not processed at the embassy in abuja cameroonians you have to go to abuja for visa the visa is not processed in abuja you are applying for the visa sorry then what you are going to be processing in abuja is the visa but what is going to come from austria they will send your files to austria then what is coming to you is the residence permit and remember to those of you who are asking me about the money that you are going to put in your bank account i'm going to explain details about the proof of funds after this right the money you are putting in your bank account you are not going to withdraw that money until you arrive austria 
and again in some cities like vienna when you arrive they will need you to show that you have this money in your bank account so i'm not talking to those who were asking me and saying can they withdraw the money after their residence permit or visa has arrived no you need that money in your account if you are going to austria and other cities please don't risk yourself okay you need the money in your account and remember there is no age limit when you are applying to universities in austria yes there is no age limit if you check very well i think there is someone i know who is 35 now and he's in austria he's just uh, started his masters this time and i think it's even possible even if you are 30 or 31 you can still do your bachelor's degree in as much as you have your admissions but there is a very big problem for those who do not follow the first process i'm going to talk about which is the legalization process and you equally need your legalized documents for your visa application remember appointment is getting somehow tough and the embassy takes very few people legalization you just need to keep checking i'm not talking to those who have been complaining and those who are saying that the 200k for legalization is very much for nigerians your own is 200k cameroonians your own is uh, 300k i think Ghanaians 300k gambians 400k and other nationalities from um west and central africa so please you have to check the embassy website i'm going to put all the details down there okay then there is nothing like i said there is nothing like age limit so please put all this into consideration let me talk about the proof of funds before i go to the legalization the verification and other things you need to know austrian proof of funds have increased so i want to draw your attention to this but like i said the money does not really matter when it comes from though you still need to show evidence right but just be conscious and do not use a new account so if you are thinking of moving to austria next year september and you are watching me now please go and get your accounts go and get your accounts and start building them for proof of funds to study in austria it's of categories those who are 18 to 24 years you need at least 552 these monies have been increased to like the money has been pushed up a little bit so before it was 552 per month and if you want to put this money in your bank account or how much you need in your bank account for one year because you need to show that you have money for one year before you can apply for the visa and your documents move to austria for your residency to be processed you have the residence permit has to be processed in austria all right it has to be processed in the city where you are going to study then but remember even before the processing you have to send all those documents i mentioned to you there then they will look at them you will go to the embassy in abuja submit the details then they will look at them send the documents to austria then your residence permit will be processed from austria so this is how it is now those who are 18 to 24 years of age you need 552 euros times 12 multiply you are going to see the amount in euros then those who are greater than 24 years of age you need at least 1048 euros per month all right you need at least 1048 euros this money has gone up a little bit so please i'm going to put everything down there now if you multiply 1048 times 12 you are going to get the money if you are 40, 24 years and above and um, if you are a couple you need at least 1578 euros per month to spend remember now you multiply by 12 and that is the money that has to be in your bank account remember this money has gone up a bit so like i said i'm going to drop details down here it's almost but just to be on the safe side in as much as you are greater than 24 years make sure you have at least thirteen thousand euros or more in your bank account i posted this few days back on my youtube channel and a lot of people were complaining that the money is too much some are even saying that legalization fee is too much come on let's be reasonable 200k to do legalization for something that will carry you to a country where your tuition fee is 363 euros and you are still saying that what if what if what if come on let's be reasonable guys you have to decide if your future year is important or the 200k is important now if you want to drink something with the 200k you are going to spend it within hours but this is something that can change your future for good yes some will say that no the money is too much remain in your country of course not everybody will migrate we all do not have the same pain and those who want to migrate will migrate those who want to do business will do business so it is as common as that now 
Then, if you are a couple, I already mentioned to you. Then, if you are moving with children, one child is 37 euros times 12. If you have two children, the other child 37 euros times 12. So, then you show the source of income, how you are getting the money or how the money came about. If you have a business, you show it. If you have people who are sponsoring you, you get their bank statements and you get letter of sponsorship from them. You upload them and that is it for the proof of funds. Now, this is the process proper. Before you... Even apply for any universities in Austria or any school in Austria you need to have gone through the process of legalization and verification it's called legalization and verification and if you do not do this process most schools will not give you admissions some schools will tell you that okay legalize before we give you admissions others will give you provisional admissions and tell you to bring legalized copies okay I think looking at Austria now I will not advise you to apply without your documents being legalized. This is the truth I'm telling you and nothing but the truth, guys. So please put that into consideration. Now, for you to book, uh, to do the legalization, first, you have to start from the Ministry of Education and Ministry of Foreign Affairs, depending on which country you are. Some people, they don't have the same uh, results those that left university of boya and those who did hnd they don't have the same places they are going to ub people have to start from ub and then from to the ministry of foreign affairs those with gc have to start from the gce board i'm not talking to cameroonians those with hnd has to go back to the ministry of higher education before moving to foreign affairs so you see the process is not the same but please you have to make sure you put up a good fight now for bsc if you want to go for bsc you will need your yx certificate you need your testimonial you will need o levels and a level results you need your yx your wc okay you need birth certificates okay you need attestation of birth very important i'm going to mention this very soon and you need legalization form from the website it's called a legalization form from the website and you need a marriage certificate if you want to move with family now if you are thinking that why is Matron talking about birth certificate legalization let me tell you something take it very seriously those that were born at 1992 like after 1992 you need a document called affidavit of age declaration from the court this document should not be signed by you it has to be signed by your father your mother or your guardian okay because you went you, nobody you didn't sign the document from the onset if you were born after 1992 please do your due diligence before you go for legalization and verification if you do one of the documents and you later go again with a separate document you will pay the same amount of money 300,000 for Cameroonians and 200,000 for Nigerians and if Ghanaians 300k as well Gambians more than that so don't make errors make sure you go with the correct documents the correct documents this is something please you need to put this into consideration i'm just here to tell you i'm emphasizing on this particular country because the tuition is very cheap all you need is to maybe you can even borrow the money you put in there you show that you have a small business you show that you are working and you are good to go maybe when you arrive Austria, you hustle a little you start giving back the money to the people there are part-time jobs Austria is a country in as much as you are legal you are going to work okay so nobody should deceive you nobody should say that no 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 because i know a lot of people are online some will be deceiving you some will be claiming to advise you whereas they do not want you to take the process so please remember this like i said do not sign the affidavit of declaration h declaration yourself then the account like i mentioned before should have at least fourteen thousand euros for you to be on the safe side or do the calculations then you see what is available for the school website you have it now the process if you gather all your documents if you are applying for bsc or masters then it depends the documents are found here you carry those documents from the ministry of education you go to the ministry of foreign affairs for those who do not have the austrian embassy like uh, if you are not a nigerian and you are not in nigeria you have to locate the nearest vfs global center in your home country the details are on the website of the austrian embassy when you click there it's going to direct you immediately you go there with the documents you pay the money i think 300 or 200 or 400 depending on your nationality then the vfs will now put everything and send on your behalf remember this process takes time so always start early appointment is another issue that is the first problem now after you do this verification and a whole lot of stuff you pay the money remember you are not going to be using fake documents if you use fake documents they will get you 
and your documents will not be verified they verify all these things so don't go and use something that is not yours they will do it they have a lawyer all those schools that you said you graduated from maybe gbhs with the comb gbhs this government school this they will go to those schools and verify those results this is pure facts i'm telling you they will verify everything so don't make sh don't go and you forge things and you come here you start telling people they will drop them to verify them you are now ready to apply before even doing the verification you should know the schools you want to apply to immediately when your documents learn you go to the application you create your you apply immediately sharp sharp don't waste time right when you apply now the school will give you an admissions letter then you now prepare for your residence permit application it can take one month it can take three weeks it can take two months it takes it can even take four months it depends some people's own i recently just got two people now who are moving to austria yeah the first guy contacted me he's already even in austria and one person from my facebook page is equally going to be moving very soon he got his permit already so guys this is what you need to know and please put everything into consideration it's a whole lot of work but you need to do it if you do this process it will not even cost you much money how can you be complaining that it's 200k to do legalization what about people who are going to the uk paying sixteen thousand pounds in the uk and at the end of the day you will study in australia your fee is 306 even if your fee is 700 and or even 1000 euros it's still very cheap the only thing you need to do is to move to these various ministries get your documents done you you pay the legalization uh, fee all right you pay the verification fee sorry it's a verification fee because legalization is at the level of the ministry of education and foreign affairs you pay the verification fee and you are good to go so don't complain about 200k come on it's not something we should even be debating on so this is how you go about the process of studying in austria it is quite straightforward very very straightforward so you just need to do your part and you leave the rest to god and pray that you get it if you do this process like i said avoid verification disorder if you are program your, your documents have an issue you are in problem you will have to pay 200k two times or even three or four times to avoid that watch these videos and you gain the knowledge from it i hope this is helpful i will be talking about schools that are already open then from there we will carry on till we meet again in another one